Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 3.7 problem solving multiply two digit numbers and our essential question is how can you use the strategy draw a diagram to solve multi-step multiplication problems okay so let's unlock the problem during the 2010 great backyard bear count an average of 42 bald eagles were counted in each of 20 locations throughout Alaska. In 2009, an average of 32 bald eagles were counted in each of 26 locations throughout Alaska. Based on this data, how many more bald eagles were counted in 2010 than in 2009? Use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. Okay, so we have data in 2010 and in 2009. So in 2010, it was an average of 42 bald eagles counted in each of 20 locations. So 42 in 20 locations. So it seems like we should multiply here. We don't add the 42 20 times. We'll just multiply 42 times 20. Also the same in 2009. We have an average of 32 bald eagles. We're counted in each of 26 locations throughout Alaska. Okay, so we can also multiply the 32 by the 26 to find how many in 2009. So the question said, how many more, if you remember guys, how many more bald eagles were counted in 2010 than in 2009? If you remember guys, how many more or how many fewer we usually do minus. So let's fill this graphic organizer. So what do I need to find? I need to find uh, the question. How many more bald eagles were counted in 2010 than in 2009? So I need to find how many bald eagles were counted in 2010 than in 2009. What information do I need to use? For 2010, in 2010, how many locations counted an average of how many bald eagles each we have 20 locations 42 bald eagles each so we have 20 locations counted an average of 42 bald eagles each and in 2009 it's how many locations it's 26 locations counted an average of 32 bald eagles okay okay how will i use the information so we can solve a simpler problem like this find the number of bald eagles counted in 2010 which we can just multiply 20 by 42 and then find the number of bald eagles counted in 2009 which we can just multiply 26 by 32. Then we'll draw a power model to compare the 2010 count to the 2009 count. Okay, so let's solve the problem here. First, we'll find the total number of bald eagles counted in 2010. So for 2010, we'll just multiply the 20 by the 42. Okay, so 20 times 42, as we said before, we can just put this zero out. So this zero is out. So the question now is like 2 times 42. So 2 times 42, let's do it like this. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then 2 times 4 is 8. So 84, we'll write it beside the zero, so it's 840 bald eagles counted in 2010. Let's do the same for 2009. We have 26 location, 32 bald eagles each. So I'll multiply 26 times 32. 
and this is two digits multiplied two digits so let's write the 32 up so let's do it here 32 up and the 26 down so first we multiply the 32 by the 6 then we multiply the 32 by the 20 and then we'll add the two partial products so 32 times 6 we do 6 times 2 is 12 write down 2 and 1 up then 6 times 3 is 18 18 plus 1 is 19 then we multiply by the 20 so we'll put 0 and we can just multiply by 2 let's erase this carry up so at the second step we will multiply by the 20 we'll put the 0 and just multiply by the 2 so 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 3 is 6 then we add the two products so 2 plus 0 is 2 9 plus 4 13 write 3 down 1 up 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 6 is 8 so it's 832 bold eagles counted in 2009 so first we find how many in 2010 then how many in 2009 now let's compare the two answers so last we'll draw a bar model so I need to subtract to get this part here so 840 bolt equals in 2010 and 832 bolt equals in 2009 and we need this part here so guys this is part and this is part and this is the whole so if we need the part we should subtract the whole which is 840 minus the part which is 834 so 840 minus 834 is 8 so there are 8 more bald eagles counted in 2010 than in 2009 so what we did again we said we need how many more bald eagles in 2010 than in 2009 so we first find how many in 2010 we multiply the 20 by the 42 which is 840 then we find how many in 2009 which is 26 times 32 which is 832 then we said that how many more means minus we should subtract the two numbers so there are or there were eight more bald eagles counted in 2010 than in 2009 okay let's try another problem Prescott Valley, Arizona reported a total of 29 morning doves in the great backyard bird count. Mesa, Arizona reported 20 times as many morning doves as Prescott Valley. Okay, so Mesa, Arizona reported 20 times as Prescott Valley. Okay, so let's continue if a Chandler reported a total of 760 so Chandler we don't need to do anything for it it's only 760 morning doves the question is how many more so we'll do minus again but we will do things before we do the minus so how many more morning doves were reported in Chandler than in Mesa so we need to know how many reported in Chandler and how many in Mesa so in Chandler it's already ready 760 so the question here is how many in Mesa so in Mesa he said it's 20 times as Prescott Valley so 20 times so 20 times the Prescott Valley the Prescott Valley is Prescott Valley Arizona reported a total of 29 so we can multiply 20 times 29 to know how many reported in Mesa then we compare this number to Chandler which is 760 morning doves okay so let's read the problem again what do I need to find so I need to find how many more how many more will do minus but at the last step how many more morning doves were reported in Chandler than in Mesa we know how many reported in Chandler but we don't know in Mesa so what information do I need to use 
We know that Prescott Valley reported a total of 29 morning doves. Mesa reported 20 times as many morning doves as Prescott Valley. So it's a 20 times 29 for Mesa. And Chandler reported 760 morning doves. Okay, how will I use the information? Okay. So here we will use simpler problems. So first we'll find the number of morning doves reported in Mesa. As we said, we'll multiply 20 times 29. He said in the question, it's 20 times as Prescott Valley. Then draw a bar model to compare the number of morning doves reported in Mesa with the number reported in Chandler. Compare means we'll subtract. Okay, so let's solve the problem here. First, the number of morning doves reported in Mesa. Okay. He said in the question, it's a 20 times. It's a 20 times. So 20 times means 20. Multiply 20 times the, as many morning doves as Prescott Valley. Prescott Valley are 29. So it multiply 20 by 29 okay so as we said before this zero this zero we can just write it in the answer here in the product and we just multiply 2 times 29 so 2 times 29 we can make it like this 2 times 9 is 18 so write down 8 and up 1 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 so write the 58 here so they are 580 morning doves. Okay, so we know now the number of morning doves in Mesa. And we need to compare it to the number of morning doves in Chandler. So we can use the bar like this. So Chandler is greater than Mesa. So draw a bigger bar for Chandler it has 760 and Mesa it has only 580 and we need this part this part is what it, this part is how many more Chandler than Mesa okay so to get this part we should do minus okay it's a part and we have the whole so we'll subtract the whole minus the part to get the other part so we can do 760 minus 580 equals 0 minus 0 is 0. 6 minus 8, it can't be. The 6 is small. So borrow from the 7. The 7 will be 6. And the 6 will be 16. 16 minus 8 is 8. And 6 minus 5 is 1. So 180 more morning doves. Okay, so here we have a question. Is your answer reasonable? Explain. Okay, so if we around 760, it will be 800. If we around the 580 to the nearest 100, it will be 600. And 800 minus 600 equals 200. And the answer is 180. It's really close to the 200. Okay, so now for share and show. Let's solve number one. An average of 74 reports with bird counts were turned in each day in June. An average of 89 were turned in each day in July. How many reports were turned in for both months? So both months will do plus. So we need the total in the two months. And here is a hint. There are 30 days in June and 31 days in July. Okay, so first, write the problem for June. So for June, we have 74 reports each day, and June is 30 days. So it's 74 times 30. And for July, it's 89 reports each day, and July is 31 days. So we'll multiply 89 times 31. 
okay last find and add the two products okay so let's find the product here and the product here so 74 times 30 we said this zero we can just write it in the product and multiply 74 times 3 so 3 times 4 is 12 2 down 1 up 3 times 7 is 21 plus 1 is 22 so we'll write the 222 next to the zero so it's 2220 reports this is in june in july 89 times 31 so we should do it like this 89 multiply 31 here we are multiplying by a two digit number so first we multiply the 89 by 1 then we multiply the 89 by 30 and then we add the two partial products so first multiply by 1 so 1 times 9 is 9 1 times 8 is 8 then multiply by 30 is like putting 0 here and multiply by 3 so now we'll multiply by the 3 so 3 times 9 is 27 we'll write 7 carry up 2 then 3 multiply 8 is 24 plus 2 is 26 and then add the two products we have 9 8 plus 7 is 15 right 5 down 1 up 1 plus 6 is 7 and the 2 so 2000 759 reports okay then the last step find and add the two products we will add the two answers he said in the question in both months okay so let's add the 2220 plus the 2759 so 0 plus 9 is 9 2 plus 5 is 7, 2 plus 7 is 9, and 2 plus 2 is 4. So, 4,979 reports were turned in for both months. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Have a nice day and goodbye.